misty Pendine Sands in South Wales, a beach that has made history. Here in the speed crazy 20s, Sir Malcolm Campbell tilted at the land speed record. And succeeded. But in those hectic days, records were made to be broken. At small hotels like this, speed merchants gathered to plan their campaigns. One of them was a Welshman, John Godfrey Parry Thomas. He was to make his own niche in racing history, though not quite in the way he intended. Babs, as he called his car, was enormous, 20 feet long. Thrust by a 27-litre V12 aero engine, Babs and Parry Thomas hurled themselves along Pendine Sands. But tragedy. Parry Thomas was killed, and Babs was buried where she lay for almost half a century. Until along came another Welshman, Owen Wynne Owen. Owen looked at the wreck, choked with sand and riddled with rust, its moving parts welded solid. He decided old Babs deserved to live again. Fired by that passionate patriotism that drives the Welsh to superhuman effort, Owen Wynne Owen set Babs firmly back on her feet. It took eight patient years. Now the task is done. Not surprisingly, Parry Thomas's juggernaut isn't the girl she used to be. The engine works and the wheels turn. But after four decades under the beach, soaked by the incoming tides, she's feeling her age. Fifty years to the hour after she crashed, Babs runs again on Pendine Sand. Even though some parts of the car were well preserved, the 42-year-old spark plugs, for instance, was still in good condition. Owen Wynne Owen's task of restoration was staggering. But he succeeded. He brought old Babs back, a tribute from one Welshman to another. Foot power is the motive force at London's Parliament Hill fields, a vast stretch of heath.